Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more It's Leo speaking. Today we are going to go through how to use samples, how to import them, and we're going to demonstrate the same also on Wavetable, so I'll show you how you can import them as well. Um, inside, of course, Groove Rider GR16. Before I start, I would like to remind uh, um, my viewers, if you have not subscribed, please do so, as that will help growing the channel. And more subscribers, more videos, more tutorials, um, etc. So let's start. So just loaded Groove Rider GR16. Um, so let's, um, I have inside, I'm inside one of the a user pattern, okay, which uh, I already started to work on. Uh, part number one as an oscillator. Nothing more than that. Okay. So why don't we replace that part with a sample? Okay. In order to do that, we just click on the wave here. Okay. Then if I move up here, it says open. Here you can open a sample. You can also import a sample from audio share, which um, is quite straightforward. So I'm not going to show that one. Then above here, you have samples. Here you have a list of samples, which are already included. But at the bottom, you can uh, you have two selections. One that allows you to import samples, which will be recorded on, uh, on a disk. And uh, the other one is also to import a folder. And you can also use the shared functionality, the open-in functionality, to actually open even zip file inside uh, um, GR16. So I'll, I'm going to show you first the open sample. So let's click open sample. So you remember in GR16, you select, clicking one, uh, once on the menu item, you select and then you need to click again to activate it. Okay, perfect. Let's choose these all hard. Okay, the sample is loaded. Now, when you load the sample or also when you import it as well, you'll find that under slice, it will be sliced already. And if you click here on the start on the end, one of the two, it will also show you uh, the waveform. So you see, as I move through the pad up to the end, it shows you that the sample has um, been sliced. And that is what you can do through the slice menu. But now let's go back um, to the trigger mode, um, okay? So, I have that sample. Now let me show you what happens if I go to another pattern like this and I go back to the previous one. Well, that sample has disappeared. And if I click on wave again and I click on open, I can still have the two selection. If I go on samples, well, that sample is not there because I have not recorded it to the disk. So something else you can do is import samples and let's click on it. And now let's click on whole hard again. After I have imported it, if you scroll down, you'll find that that is there. So it will be located in the folder of GR16. Okay, so that is selected. Oh. And now that will be there permanently. Okay, or unless you, until you actually decide to delete it. So let's go back to the slice uh, mode. Let's click on the start or end button to show the waveform. As you can see here, we can play different part of the waveform. If you move the start, nothing happens because you need to go in edit mode. The same on the end here, but you can change the pitch of the overall waveform. Let's double click to go back to where uh, to the um, to the uh, default pitch. Now, if you click on the sample again, you can decimate it. And you can also boost the signal or the waveform, I should have said. Let's click on, again on sample to go back to the, to the default settings. You can reverse also the plane. So you can also decide to have that in a loop. Okay, you can also have it one shot, which means if you press on the pad, it will play until it has finished. While when that is not active, as soon as you release uh, the pad, it will stop playing. Okay, perfect. You can also repeat it, which means that uh, it works for where you have a loop. 
So it will actually repitch the entire sample to the bit per minutes which are selected in Groove Rider uh, GR16, which in this case are 120 bits per minute. Okay, so we have seen that. Now, if you want to modify the slides, you what you can do is click again on the slides, you see the purple here, which means you can modify them now. And as you move from one part to the other, it shows you where you're starting. So let's go to part 16. Oh, it's a little bit too short. So let's move the start. Oh, now you see changes happening. You can also change the pitch and it will be done only for that part, for that slice, I should have said. Okay, and then you click again on slice and that will go back. Um, sorry, it will exit the edit mode for the slicing. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you, if you go click on wave again, you can go where your sample has been uh, uh, loaded. You can see that. You click and slide through uh, to the left. There is a menu. You click on menu and then you select, for example, to delete. In that case, it will delete. Uh, it will be deleted uh, from the internal folder of GR16. You can also do the same, just copying a folder inside directly using the file system inside GR16. So it, it's very simple. Just use your I your uh, iPad file system, just copy and paste directly on the folder. The other thing which we can also do is to import a wavetable. So if you click on wave, here you have access to a number of wavetables. Really nice. If you scroll down to the bottom, you have import wavetables. So let's click on that. Let's click again. Then uh, let's go up uh, this folder. We have, I created a new a folder called wavetables where I imported some uh, wavetables from uh, Serum. Okay, let's go to an analog one and let's load one. Why not? Let's try. Why don't we try this? Uh, I don't know. This vulgar, this one. Okay, that's important. You can see it is there. There you go. Let's go to the keys. Really nice. And similar thing, click and move to the left, menu, delete, if you want to delete, and uh, I do it also for this one, which I previously created as well or imported. Okay, so this is how you import uh, uh, samples, how you slice them, and also you have seen how to import wavetables. Remember, if you don't import a sample, but you just load a sample, it will not be persisted on uh, on, the, on the disk inside your uh, iOS device. Um, you can save the pattern at that point, and then it will be loaded according uh, to the pattern. And it will play um, if you just load it as long as you don't move to another pattern, because in that case, when you move back to the pattern uh, that you were, you were working, uh, with it, it, it will not be able to load it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye